Welcome to Simplify Pharma. In this lecture, we will discuss the difference between critical material attributes, critical process parameters, and how are they correlated to critical quality attributes. An effort has been made to simplify it further. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Let's take a look at the factors that affect drug product critical quality attributes. There are two factors that affect. One is properties of input material and the second one is manufacturing process parameters. When we say properties of input material, over here input materials they consist of raw materials, starting material, APIs, packaging and labeling material. So a key element of drug development and product or process characterization is a requirement to identify and control critical material attributes and critical process parameters that influence critical quality attributes. So the two factors that affect critical quality attributes, it is critical material attributes and critical process parameters. Over here in this diagram, we can see the critical material attributes. They are the starting material. So that's why we consider them as input material. Then critical process parameters. These are the parameters of the manufacturing process, pharmaceutical unit operations. And they both affect the critical quality attributes. That is the quality of the output material or the product. So we can say a material attribute or a process parameter. When can we call it as critical? When a realistic change in that attribute or parameter, it impacts, it significantly impacts the quality of the output material. So any change in critical material attribute or critical process parameters, when it affect or impact the quality of the output material, we call them critical. Let's take a look in detail one by one into critical process parameters and critical material attributes. A critical process parameter it is another category of risk factor that is associated with manufacturing variables. So we can define a process parameter. It is a measure that indicates the status of the process or unit operation. And it can be changed to achieve the desired product quality. Now, what are the examples of this process parameters? pH, cooling rate, drying rate, rotation speed, pressure, temperature. So these are called as process parameters. When are they considered critical? When any change within the normal operating ranges that can affect a CQA, then a process parameter becomes a critical process parameter. Therefore, it should be monitored or controlled to ensure that the process produces desired quality. We can say a critical process parameter. It is a term used in pharmaceutical production for process variables which have an impact on critical quality attribute. These critical factors, they are based on the severity of harm to a patient the safety efficacy of the medicine and how it affects the safety of a patient resulting from failure to meet the quality attribute. So a, a case where the factors any variation in the factors it affects the uh, safety and efficacy of the patient then in that case the factor becomes critical. So what we have learned till now the critical process parameters they have direct impact on critical quality attributes and a process parameter it can be changed there can be variations in it it can be measured it can be controlled and how can we identify a critical process parameter by correlating manufacturing process data with finished product testing results so this shows which variables have greatest impact on product quality we need to understand when a potential process parameter becomes a critical process parameter when it has high impact on critical quality attribute that is cqa this critical process parameters they identified from a list of potential 
process parameters using risk assessment and experimental work so on the basis of risk uh, risk assessment and experimental work there is a list of potential process parameters and then from that list we identify critical process parameters so what are critical process parameters which have high impact on cqa that is critical quality attribute any process is considered to be well understood when all sources of variability they have been identified explained and managed therefore allowing better prediction of cqas a better process understanding could be established by identifying all potential process parameters that could affect the cqas now in this case screening out the high risk process parameters we need to screen out the high risk process parameters based on prior knowledge and risk assessment thus linking process parameters with cqas by designing and conducting experiments determining the criticality of process parameters based on experimental results and thus defining acceptable ranges for critical process parameters like this we can link critical process parameters to cqa here is a case study wherein we can see uh, example of process parameters now in this case study uh, potential critical process parameters uh, and how which critical quality attributes they impact for a liabilization operation it is given now see uh, for a liabilization operation what are the process parameters drying temperature drying pressure chamber pressure chamber pressure then freezing rate freezing duration primary drying duration secondary drying duration these are the stages of liabilization and which quality attributes the impact stability size reconstitution time so this is how process parameters impact quality attribute this is how it looks like the document looks like this is one more case study i have pulled from the internet wherein we can see potential process parameters that are related to wet granulation now over here we can see uh, for example high or low shear granulation for that fill level granulation mix time then flu uh, fluid bed granulation type of fluid bed spray nozzle then fill level so these are the potential process parameters coming to the second factor that affects critical quality attribute that is cma critical material attribute a material attribute it is physical chemical or biological property or characteristic again when it is considered critical when any variation within the normal operating range it can affect the cqa that is critical quality attribute therefore it should be monitored controlled to ensure that the material produces the desired quality when we say material in critical material attribute it means raw material starting material reagent solvent intermediate while attribute means physical chemical biological microbiological property or characteristic of this material that can be measured it could be particle morphology then ingredient ratio drug loading surfactant concentration aqueous solubility a material attribute is critical when any change any variation in it significantly impact a cqa that is critical quality attribute then there is this case study i pulled from the internet a critical assessment of properties of the excipients input material it is desirable why to identify what impact it will have on critical quality attributes of the product now cma they are considered for input material including drug substance excipients granulating fluid now uh, please understand over here the case study that we are taking it is of wet granulation process that's why in wet granulation process cmas uh, the critical material attributes what all is considered the, under that input material drug 
excipient granulating fluid and cqas that is critical quality attribute this is for output material what is the output of wet granulation we obtain granules after the process of wet granulation so these granules they are the output material so such properties they would qualify to be the critical material attributes for the product and they would demand establishment of a decision space uh, sorry design space as a part of control strategy for the development process now over here we can see the potential critical material attributes they are particle size degree of crystallinity surface area moisture content solubility then binder diluent type grade disintegrant type grade then this is the granulation process and uh, which all critical quality attribute it can affect the cmas granule size distribution granule flow granule strength then porosity compactibility now after understanding what is a critical quality attribute what is critical process parameters what is a critical material attribute we need to understand how are these three correlated what is the correlation between them now in this diagram we'll try and understand how are cma cpp and cqa interrelated or correlated with each other cma that is the input material attributes so once we are using input material in the form of api excipients those attributes of those material then cpp this is the process parameters for example let's take a simple example of uh, tableting so in tableting what are the different processes that are used like uh, granulation drying compression coating so these are the different process and the parameters associated with those process how these both affect the quality of the output material so cma cpp any variation in these two factors they affect the quality of the output material that's why these three are correlated with each other now this is a case study where we can see the correlation between the process parameters then the quality attributes and the material attributes this we have taken example of tableting process we can see uh, during the operation of tableting what are the different stages granulation drying milling mixing compression and coating so what is the cma during the granulation process particle size distribution particle shape elasticity density hardness moisture content what are the process parameters mixing time then uh, binder fluid addition rate and time method of binder addition temperature and what is the quality attribute the granule size and distribution what is the moisture content of the granules that we have achieved similar manner we will see for drying these are the cmas for drying then these are the cmas for milling this is for mixing let's take a look at compression again we'll try and understand in compression the cmas are part granule or particle size depending upon whether we are using granule or if it is direct compression in that case particle size then granule or particle size distribution cohesive adhesive property because it is a compression elasticity brittleness then hardness moisture content density porosity then process parameters involved compression force hopper design roller type ejection force what are the quality attributes weight variation hardness friability content uniformity assay dissolution disintegration so these are if you remember these are all the tests that we perform once we have manufactured tablet in pharmaceutical lab so this is how all three are correlated with each other so if you like my video please do like subscribe and share in our next video we will discuss about the risk assessment stage of quality by design please do like subscribe and share my videos so that you can keep me motivated to 
keep posting more and more videos let's keep the learning happening and keep growing and learning thank you